Hello, artist. Today, we are going to learn how to transform a square piece of paper into a rectangle, triangle, or circle. There will be this reference sheet at your table so that you have a visual reminder of how to follow these steps after the video. We'll start with a rectangle. You will need some squares, a pair of scissors, and a pencil for today's activity. To create a rectangle, you will fold this square paper from side to side, kind of like you're making a door or a book. So you'll match up your two sides, then use one finger to hold, the other finger to push down in the middle, and then rub the paper from one side and then the other. This will form a nice straight crease. You can then unfold your paper. You will use your scissors to cut right along this fold. When using scissors, make sure that you open them all the way up. I like to think of scissors as being a little monster mouth and the mouth of the monster is the strongest when you feed the paper all the way to the back of the jaw. So you're going to slide your fingers into the bigger section, thumb goes into the smaller section, hold your paper, feed it to the back of the scissors, and then squeeze and lift to cut on that folded line. When you're done, you should have two rectangles. Next, we'll make two triangles. This time you'll begin with a square, but I want you to turn it so it looks a little more like a diamond. It's standing on its point. Now we're going to fold top to bottom, point to point. So I'll use one finger to hold, and I'll use my other hand to bring the points together. Match up my bottom corners. I use one finger to squish down the middle, and then I press from one side and to the other to get a nice straight crease. If I've done this correctly, it should look like I have a little bird beak, or I like to think of it as a taco. Unfold, feed the paper shape into the back of the scissor mouth, Squeeze until you cut across to create two triangles. And then our last shape today will involve cutting a circle. I like to draw my circle before I cut it out. So I'm going to use curvy lines today and my challenge is to make sure that the curves of my circle touch all four sides of my square. If I need to, I can erase and redraw. Remember that Mrs. Cutterly has had lots and lots of practice drawing circles over the years. You might need to erase and try several times before you get a circle. You are looking to see that your circle touches all four sides of the square so that it's nice and big. Now, when we're cutting a circle, we do feed the paper into the back of the scissor mouth. The scissors will just go up and down like this, and our other hand will turn the paper to help us cut along that straight line. It's important that we're turning the paper and not the scissors so that we can maintain a good and safe grip on our pair of scissors. And I'll just keep turning and turning until I've made it all the way around. Now, I can combine these into a collage. I can do things like create houses, imagine a treetop, or other interesting combinations of colors and shapes.